going on everybody welcome back to the channel Martin with Belvoir Auto Spa and today we're going to be going over and applying a few new products from DIY Detail and their professional arm of the company C6 Ceramics so um, what's new here it's the people you know mostly you probably know about it by now we got their uh, adhesion promoter polish um, this is a there's more information on their website there's not a, a whole ton of information on here um, but this is essentially somewhat of a primer polish, uh, however you don't need to use any panel prep to wipe it off. It wipes off easily and you're only supposed to apply it with a um, soft finishing or drooling pad and an 8mm throw or less. So this is my SPTA cordless force rotation polisher, so it's gear driven, which uh, does have an 8mm orbit. Um, I'm going to crank this up to the max speed and we're going to apply it to the car. I didn't do any polishing of the car. Now, I talked to Ivan and he said that... Um, you know, app isn't designed to remove existing protection. Um, this car does, if you may, once you get over to this car, this is the car I coated with Seacourt's light years ago. Um, I believe as the owner, when he cleans it, he uses a drying aid, so there was some mild protection on here. I believe that this pad with this will be able to take, take that off, um, but we'll see. You know, I guess no one's tried it yet. I'm going to see it, because the whole point of using something like this uh, same like when I use uh, CarPro's um, Elixir, not Elixir, CarPro Essence. When I use CarPro Essence, I'm trying to save a step. Um, so if I, if, if I have to polish first, I'm probably not going to use App. I know App is designed to use with HydroLite, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but from what they tell me, App can be used with uh, just about any product. So then we also have um, C6 Ceramics HydroLite. Now, I'm knocking everything over. Uh, I actually haven't opened this box yet. It's been sitting here for a few weeks. I'm um, finally getting a chance to get around to it, so let's open it up and see what's inside. And if you're just here for the application content, feel free to sk skip through. I'm going to be doing a lot of blabbing. That's what I do on this channel. A lot of people like it, some people don't. Whatever. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. See what we get in the box. Now, uh, DIY Detail, yeah, they sent me, Ivan reached out, he sent me the uh, HydroLite for free. He sent me um, App for free. Most, actually, I think everything, every DIY Detail product in this video, um, I did not pay for, so just full disclosure. So, got the product here. Uh, looks like this card slipped out of this box. But I'm a C6, no wait, no, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, that's a pretty nice card. This thing's like metal. So, that's pretty nice. I think you get this if you're... Some people said they're not getting it in their box. I don't know if it's only for, um, like, certified people that, that have been certified by C6. And from what I understand, it's not too hard to get certified from this, this company. Uh, you reach out to them. I believe uh, John is, is his name that does all the C6 stuff. He'll reach out to you, uh, see about getting, getting you um, approved to apply C6. Now this is just Hydro Light. This isn't Hydro or their industrial coating. We've got a pretty nice sticker. All this stuff got stuck to the adhesive in this box. That's what's going on. Ugh. So I'll slap that up on the uh, cabinet back there. Smaller C6 sticker. And that's it. And I think all this stuff, I'm going to kind of melt it to the box because uh, I live in Texas and probably as I was getting shipped, it got really hot or something. So there you go. Pretty neat. It's a pretty cool card, honestly. Nice metal card. Uh, so C6 Hydro Light, from what I understand, this is just as easy to apply all the other DIY detail coatings, which I have videos on. Um, this is just supposed to be stronger. It contains uh, detonated nano diamonds. So if you're not familiar with detonated nano diamonds, that's what um, uh, that one company uses from Europe, I forget what their, their name is, and then also uh, CarPro Decorts is using detonated nano diamonds. Now it's my understanding that the purpose of those is it increases the surface hardness of your paint with this on it. So it's not going to bump it all the way up to as hard as possible, but whatever, depending on how hard or soft your paint is, this will bump it up a few notches. That's how Decorts was described to me, I, I would assume this, this is similar. Um, but yeah, if you want to know what the difference between this and the rest of the uh, DIY detail lineup is, detonated nano diamonds. Um, should be just as easy to apply, so we'll see. Uh, also, this is a $300 coating. <laughs> That's pretty expensive. Me, personally, I probably wouldn't pay $300 for a coating. I don't know what their reasoning for it is. I know they said to produce this does cost them a lot of money. 
Um, I've used a lot of coatings, and you know, as long as the coating's performing, that's all I care about. And I've used coatings from $15 uh, that you can get from No Hype right now, and I guess it's going to be up to $300. Um, I do think that's that's a high price, a very high price to pay, but if you're doing this as a uh, professional and all you do is coatings, you can factor that into your price and hopefully you're charging accordingly. Um, I'm applying this for free. Uh, this is to my friend's car. I've, I've, uh, we did some, I did some trading, got some couches from the first time I coated his car. He paid for me to coat his two son's cars and then his son got, got in a crash and he's okay. And then got a new car, paid to coat that car too. So I was just looking for a car to apply this to. So this isn't a paid job that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, pretty expensive stuff, so keep that in mind. However, um, I don't know if my discount code for DIY Detail works on this. Um, I also have a discount code on Detail Image, which I believe they also sell this on. Don't know if it works, you're gonna have to try it out. Uh, codes are down in the description below. And then, last but not least, we have their new DIY Detail's new Restore and Protect Plastic and Trim Coating. Now, from what Ivan, how Ivan described this to me, um, Ivan, has been around the block a few times with detailing. Uh, he knows, I believe his name is Chris, the guy that created um, Solution Finish. So Ivan's goal with this was to have a coating with a dye in it. So kind of like um, Hybrid Solutions, except this is, you know, a full-blown ceramic coating where theirs is like an acrylic infused, you know, not as, you know, not as premium product. Um, but that's what this is supposed to be, I believe, uh, black dye um, and that. And then also the applicator, I'm going to be using this applicator to apply C6, um, DIY provides these. These I don't think there's anything wrong with these applicators, I just prefer using this. This is the Auto Fiber Saver Towel, or Sable Sheet, Sable, bleh, God. Auto Fiber Saver Sheets uh, with the block, um, and this block has Velcro on it so you don't have to tuck it in the sides like some of those old, older styles. So I really like this, um, that's what I'm going to be using. And uh, panel prep is for the plastic coating. Uh, the cowl on this car is terrible. It's so faded. So we're gonna see if we can bring it back to life with this. We'll clean it up with the panel prep. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, get a C6 app. See how that goes on. Because um, I'm, I'm excited to, to know. So let's get over to the car. Now this car, just to show you, um, the whole top half of the car is vinyl wrapped. Uh, and then the roof is all glass, panoramic sunroof. It's a 2012 Kia Optima Turbo. I used to have a 2015, my last red car before I got the Stinger. Uh, so this car is about 12, 13 years old. Uh, but he's he's kept kept it good all these years. I think he bought it around 2014, so it's a couple years old, but he's, he's keeping it good. So this is the original paint on it still. I have polished this before. I've never aggressively polished it though, because again, he, he does a pretty good job taking care of it. But I don't know if this is gonna show up on the uh, camera. But there are some minor scuffs and swirls here. Uh, a little bit of oxidation, nothing crazy. Um, I don't even know if I'd really call that oxidation, just some haze. But we're gonna use a C6 app. Again, this stuff is not made to be like a correcting polish. It offers minor correction. It's more for gloss, this, the, uh, um, the, uh, what does it say here? Oh, it says it on the website. I can't think of the word. God, I'm having a brain fart. The, um, the stuff in this, the abrasives, that's, what, that's the word. The abrasives in this are made to just bring up, bring about a high gloss. However, the solvents in this product, they um, cause the paint to slightly swell, and that's by design. So that swelled up paint will kind of fill in imperfections, and then once you coat over it, it's locked in. Um, but you gotta coat within 24 hours of using this, or the paint will de-swell and go back to normal. Um, so that's pretty cool, pretty cool way to preserve paint. Um, definitely a unique option. Um, told it's, it's safe for paint, uh, safe on most PPFs and vinyl. Um, so we'll see how it works on here. Um, but let's go ahead and get some of this applied. All right, so we'll shake it up good. I don't remember if I took the seal off this or not. Yeah, I did. We don't need much what Ivan says, just a, like three or four drops. So that one's probably too big. The other size, that's, that's what you want. So I'm gonna do just this section. We'll wipe it off and we'll see how it compares. So um, 
and you're, you're going to apply this the same method as you would waxing the car. So you don't have to cross hatch pattern again. We're not correcting or anything like that. So for this, I'm going to have it all the way up to max speed and um, just going to go ahead and get on. Wipes off pretty easily, and you don't need to use any panel prep with this stuff, so. And I'm told you can like do the whole car and then wipe it off and do panel by panel. I'm a panel by panel kind of guy, so that's what I'm gonna do. Well, I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks on me or if it really does look glossier. Uh, well, let's get out the inspection light and see. So it looks like I just got to do a better job of wiping it off. So I'll probably leave it for a little bit so I can kind of dry out somewhat before I wipe it off. That way I don't get the streaking like I got going on there. Um, but no, that definitely kicked up the gloss uh, notably for me. Uh, you may not be able to see it in the camera, but it uh, definitely looks like it made an improvement. It, it got rid of all that haze that's in the paint itself. So pretty cool. All right, so I gotta do this to the whole car. Um, after I'm done with that, I will uh, show you the coating going on. All right, so I got the whole car um, polished with um, C6 app. Wiped it all off. There is a few spots now. If you use the um, if you use a pad washer with that jeweling pad and it has any moisture, it's very hard to wipe the polish off. So you may want to get a few pads. Um, I had to use the pad washer, not because there's too much building up in it, but when I went over like the uh, vinyl on this car, it would pick up some of the dirt and contamination stuck in the vinyl and turn it black, so I had to wash it a few times and dry it really, really good. Um, but anyways, we're going to apply C6 now. Got a batch number on the bottom. It's pretty cool. Make sure it's shaken up and mixed. Now, it's supposed to go on just as easy as DIY, so... Go ahead and get that primed. Make sure you wear gloves because I just got some on my hands. <laughs> and then we will go ahead and apply it. Now I know Ivan says, I believe he says to do like little circles he likes to do with his applicator. So that's what I'll do. The reason for the little circles is it uh, less of a chance of um, leaving high spots, so they say. Anyways, uh, what is the temperature and humidity in here right now? 71 degrees, 50% humidity. So I know these coatings you can leave for about five minutes or so. This has a very strong solvent smell, just like uh, DIY's coating, so that's no surprise there. I'm still coating over here as well. Very slick to apply over the top of a uh, hat. So that's nice. I like to just work one panel at a time. You can work as many panels as you feel comfortable doing. But with uh, the humidity I get in here, uh, coatings tend to flash a lot quicker. So I'm gonna pause it while it flashes and I'll come back for the wipe off. Alright, it looked like it only took about a minute to start flashing in here. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, but it's kind of uh, leaving like an oil slick rainbow. That's usually an indicator that it's time to wipe off. And it, yeah, it definitely feels like it's time to wipe off. I can feel the, uh, feels a little tacky in that initial wipe off. That usually means it's time to wipe it off. So we use our first towel, get all our transfer solution off, minimal pressure. Just enough to pick up all that excess. And you can 
you have your second towel and buff so you don't leave any high spots. Now the buffing towel feels very slick under the buffing towel. No surprise. And it's built off the same foundation of uh, DIY details coatings. Now the slickness, I haven't applied the DIY coatings in a while, but I would say DIY's three-year definitely slicker because it contains graphene. Um, but their eight-year was also very slick. I don't think this is quite as slick as the eight-year, but it is still very slick, so don't think I'm saying it's not slick. It's just not as slick from what I can feel. Well, yeah, there we go. And uh, I believe it is a one minute, or not one minute, one hour cure time before you can start driving it, then seven days for full cure. Um, if I'm saying anything wrong, I'm sure uh, the DIY detail account will post in the comments what I said wrong, uh, which I do appreciate because I, I try to be right. <laughs> but um, I'm going to get this applied to the rest of the car, and uh, then we will do the uh, trim on this cowl up here. As you can see, very faded plastic. All right, got the car coated. Now, the next thing I want to do is get some trim restoration on here. Now for this, Ivan says to just use a little towel or something. He says don't use any type of applicator that will absorb the coating. So DIYs, foam applicators, don't use those. Um, I was going to and I'm glad I watched the video. So we take the product here, shake it up. And uh, be careful opening it because it looked like it was under pressure and it splattered a little bit. So. Definitely has black dye. You want to have a gloved hand when handling this. We'll try to wipe all the excess off the bottle. Yeah, I probably should have put a glove on both hands. Oh well, anyways. Let's get a little bit on here. Set this bottle down. Applying it to this trim. Look at that. From here, here, that makes a world of difference. Get that spread out evenly on there. And I did prep this with uh, their. Uh, of course, I washed the car and then I used the DIY panel prep. And also, these are metal, but they're super faded, so I'm just curious if this will do anything. See if it does, cool. If it doesn't, whatever, it's not like we're going to make it look any worse. I'm sure uh, the owner's tired of looking at this. Now, again, it's on the metal, so it may streak, so keep that in mind. We're having big hands is not helpful. But yeah, pretty much it's easy as that. It does look like it made a slight improvement on here, nothing drastic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off, get the rest of the supply, and then we'll pull the car outside and take a look at it. That's, that's it, guys. Stumbling over my own words. Um, I got it in uh, ultra wide so you can see the car from here in the garage. But uh, nice and glossy, paint's nice and smooth. Uh, we got the plastic trim protected, it's still drying. Now it did look blotchy after I applied it, but as it's drying, it's starting to even out. Um, don't do the metal parts. Yeah, well, they look again, they look better than they were, but it's not made for metal. Um, I'm gonna hunt for high spots if I have any. I've had a few times where I didn't have any high spots, but not always the case. Um, but yeah, for a 13 year old car, not bad. I'm sure he's gonna be happy with it. This thing pretty much lives outside, so we wanna make sure we keep it protected. I'll probably see this car again so I can give you guys an update on how it's performing uh, from a, what I call a, a, your average owner. They just, you know, wash the car maybe once a month. Um, he, you know, he, he, does, he does what he can, but not everyone's as obsessed as uh, detailers are, but uh, let me know if you found the video helpful. Hopefully you did. Um, that's uh, C6 Ceramics app. 
Hydro Light, and DIY's new um, plastic trim coating. Again, the C6 is a pretty pricey product, I'm well aware, so you need to find a way that fits into your business. I don't run a detailing business per se. I do detail, but I work in IT normally, so. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you all in the next one. Keep them clean. Have a good one.